Welcome to Machining Tech Tips. Today, we'll focus on some of the most important pieces of design data you can include, tolerances. Tolerance is the range of how far a measurement deviates from what's intended. It's important because it's difficult to manufacture a part of exact size and is critical when it comes to parts being mated together. Designing mated parts with exactly the same dimensions always works in a 3D model, but you can't guarantee the parts will be manufactured that way. For example, if a one-inch hole and shaft are being manufactured to fit together, and the hole comes out oversized and the shaft is undersized, the result is loose parts. We call that a clearance, or slip fit, which can cause headaches if it's not intentional. Alternatively, if the hole comes out too small and the shaft is too big, the parts will interfere with each other. That's called an interference or press fit, and it's possible the parts won't fit together at all. Here's a practical example. Say you buy a dowel pin intended for a press fit assembly. You can see that the pin comes with a diametrical tolerance of plus one to plus three ten thousandths, and a length tolerance of plus or minus ten thousandths. Did you know that you can assign these tolerances directly in your SOLIDWORKS model? To ensure that the 1 quarter inch receiving hole in your design part is just right, identify how much it can deviate. With Protolab standards, a nominal dimension of 0.2450 will allow an upper tolerance limit of 0.250, which will achieve a press fit with your purchase dowel pin. So remember, Tolerance is the upper and lower deviation from the nominal dimension. It is important to include tolerances on mating parts or anything where the feature size is critical, and some of the dimensions for which you can indicate tolerances are length, width, height, flatness, diameter, concentricity, and there are others. Thanks for watching. For more machining and sheet metal tips, contact our design team.